You can measure light by using your camera's light meter in manual mode. This will weigh most heavily the center portion of your image. By using a long focal length lens or zoom lens in telephoto position and measuring the light on each part of your photo frame or subject, you can get a sense for how bright or dark the various areas are. If an area is too bright, it will be clipped by the image sensor and appear completely white. If an area is too dark, it will appear grayish and full of noise. When light shines directly onto your subject from a bright lamp or other source, it can create stark contrast and pronounced shadows. Usually, it's more flattering to your subject to shoot under cloud cover, in the shade, or with reflected or diffused light, such as when light reflects off an umbrella or shines through silk. The direction of the light will impact the end result. Study and experiment with placing your subject or bouncing or reflecting light so as to achieve the look that you're after. By shining a bit more light on one side of an object than another, you can create an illusion of three dimension, which is important for good two-dimensional images. The greater the contrast between the light and dark portions, the more dramatic your photo will be. As discussed previously, a great photo will show a full range of light from highlight to shadows as shown in the histogram of that image. Direct your subjects and light your scene if possible until you can achieve a great balance of highlights, mid-tones, and shadows in your picture. Use backlight to create silhouettes when desirable. Use either auto exposure compensation in any creative mode or the manual mode to achieve this. You can review those sections at any time by pressing the skip chapter backwards button on your DVD remote. <laughs> 